Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am not back. I was always here checking out what people are doing on the Pulse Motor scene. Been there, done that. Most of the greats have left. Tired of the sick people who remain talking about it works. No, it don't. Oh man, I'm just trolling. Come on. It's a very good little build, Pulse Motors. But it's the mindset that is not right. It's the mindset. It's very exciting to be build Pulse Motors. That's why I still build them. Personally. I've been building Pulse Motors for a long time. Once it comes to facts, whenever you build Pulse Motors and you claim you are having free energy over unity, everyone is happy and they are willing to accept the shenanigans. But once you start trying to do measurements, trying to encourage other people who build to do measurements, you are no longer accepted. It's like they want to live in a dream of lies. I once made a video talking about the losses, all the losses the basic bed in a pulse motor circuit has. Of course, these things are, are not accepted. Lost in the emitter to ground. Internal resistance. Whoever measures internal resistance, the battery you're charging, you're trying to charge, it has an internal resistance. How much resistance it is going to cause in the circuit? How much is it going to oppose the charge trying to charge it? There's so much low current involved when making a pulse motor circuit like this. Can it defy this internal resistance and start charging this thing up? emitter collector lost or at least emitter loss is so apparent it's right in your face I made experiments where I tried to collect every single drop of energy coming out of this thing Meaning on the emitter I placed the battery before it goes to ground so positive the positive of a battery would be placed on the emitter of the transistor and the negative of the battery will be placed on ground. Damn it, I had to deal with batteries internal resistance. Nothing happened, the circuit did not run. No back EMF free energy. So I had to try other things. That's why I always kept experimenting on pulse motor generators. That's the closest I could come to get an output I could use. I'm tired of people just replicating every design out there. And when they're done having no results, they just jump to something else and not explaining. At least explain where things did not work out and then move to something else. I also worked on the window motor a lot, a lot. I loved building the window motor. It's a cool build. I even try building other types of devices. Other devices to try and simulate what's happening in a window motor. And of a pre pre window motor bed in a built. Those having generators of course. I tried building all kinds of stuff to simulate the window motor to see what this man was talking about with his window motor and generator. And I found odd things, effects. If Bedini did not see effects, why, why did he not get any good results from his window motor? 
Well, like it or not, I can tell you exactly what I think about the window motor because I got a taste from my experiments of what he saw, what he used to convince people for years. It's an effect. It's a generator effect. The fact that you are using double throw switches, it gives you this effect on multimeters. Back then, I didn't have as much things as I have today. Now I have crazy instruments, all kinds of measurement instruments. China have been good to me lately. And I'm not playing around. Performant oscilloscopes and even cheap one BNC oscilloscope. Multimeters don't talk about it. And frequency. Why is no one talking about frequencies? I have all kinds of frequency test equipments right now. I'm just ready for anything right now. So, this was just a little big up, a little shout out to whoever out there is sincere in building Pulse Motors today. I'm looking for someone who can really get my taste level and my excitement back up to build pulse motors i'm looking for sincere people out there who are willing to build and find things in these devices i'm not trying to get ridiculized by engineers although i'm not afraid of engineers there are so much engineer scammers out there these days you have to choose which engineer you follow people i have a lot of respect for i mean just check out from the foods channel see how much scammers are out there there are many scammers out there today claiming they are engineers literally they are engineers some of them however real engineers stay close to their test equipments they don't babble a lot and talk a lot selling organites okay they are close to test equipments so you can make out fake from real very easily. Once someone tells you they are an engineer and they start running their mouth about all kinds of what not, you rarely see a test equipment around them or it's behind them but there is no DUTs on the, on the, on the test. The only thing the oscilloscopes is connected to and branched to is their mouth what a shame what a shame so if anyone is interested in building pulse motors and giving me a good time probably we can work still and make youtube what it used to be don't make the scammers and fakers take over man take back your crown and AFP Connects is out.